Hello from the small window on your screen. This is Adam Turtletow from the Healthcare Compliance Association. I am joined by Frank Ruelas, who is the Facilities Compliance Professional at St. Joseph's Hospital and Medical Center in Phoenix, which is a part of Dignity Health. And of course, anyone who's been around compliance for a long time knows Frank for his very active role in social media, uh, especially around privacy areas. Frank will be speaking at the 2016 Compliance Institute on some of the social media risks um, for HIPAA. And that event, by the way, will be taking place April 17th through 20th in Las Vegas. Frank, thank you for joining us and for being a part of the conference. Thank you for having me, Adam, and Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year to you, too. And uh, let's dive right in. When it comes to social media risk and HIPAA, everyone's sort of familiar with the scenario the nurse snaps a picture of herself with a patient posted on the Facebook page. Um, what are some of the risks that people really aren't thinking about yet? Sure. No, then that's an excellent way to introduce the mindset that most people have about social media. They have those isolated photographs in their mind about, as you mentioned, that RN going into social media and posting something that perhaps should not be posted. But I think what people need to realize is that it's a symptom of a bigger mindset that we as compliance professionals, especially those of us dealing with privacy, need to manage and that is the gravitation of people in general in all industries towards social media and whereas before social media was the playground of the adolescents you know they would tell people where they were on any given time of the day but now really it's become almost in many places a de facto legitimate communication channel so I really see that people need to start understanding if people are going to go to social media, put HIPAA on, on the shelf for a moment, but what risks in general am I looking at because of the existence of social media? And by widening the lens, so to speak, then people start having those light bulb illuminating moments that say, now there's a risk I didn't think of, or there's a perspective that I didn't think of. And in the long run begin to manage some of those vulnerabilities or some of those threats to the privacy of patient information. As I like to tell folks, it's as easy as hashtag HIPAA. I mean, just that in and of itself can create issues on certain social media sites. So to your point, some of the things that compliance professionals, especially those in privacy need to really focus on, Adam, is to start identifying really the scale of the problem the scale of how much activity is happening as close as under their own house. So one of the techniques and, and strategies I always tell folks is because it's easily done. And of course, easy is a relative term, as Einstein used to say, but that is, do you even know under your own roof, if you're in a hospital, for example, how many people are accessing social media on organizationally assigned assets? And many people will say they don't know. Yet, the IT folks would say, all you have to do is ask me. And then you start getting a sense as to just how much people are engaging in social media. So it moves from the anecdotal into a more practical perspective. And that's really why I tell folks, and that's one of the things I'm going to stress at the session, is how do you start to manage the perception of just how challenging social media and its potential impact on the privacy of information really is on a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, there's a couple of good points that really come out of that conversation is one, the fact that IT, which is increasingly being an area that compliance is involved in, is really can be a great asset here and get the data that you need. And then secondly, that we really lose track of how much that is being done on social media. It's not just the individual employees uh, you know, posting messages, tweeting what they're doing, but also a lot of times organizations will have their own corporate social media outreach and there's a need to make sure that what's being said there is really prudent from a compliance perspective. Um, I think people are really going to enjoy sinking their teeth into your session and spending the full hour or so there um, learning from it in Las Vegas. So Frank, thank you very much for joining us today and giving us a little taste of the social media risk uh, that you'll be addressing and I hope all of you watching will join us April 17th through 20th in Las Vegas for the 2016 Compliance Institute. I'm Adam Turtletop from HCCA. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you, Frank, and have a very good day. Thank you very much, Adam. Have a great day.